السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبشهد صدري ويسل يمري وحلو لغدة من لساني فقو قولي وبزدني علما So I welcome you all to the class of Hidayat Nahu and uh, today inshallah we'll begin the fourth lesson inshallah ta'ala the fourth lesson at the Sobhah Ba'ab the fourth lesson and he'll start talking about the now and now right as usual the books that's how they deal right they talk about <clears throat> words first he'll give definitions of words kalima kalam and then ism fail and how he gave the definition in the muqaddima now he'll speak about the noun al-ismu or al-ismu al-ismu yanqasimu ila qismain the noun is divided into yanqasimu in qasama yanqasimu form seven the noun is divided into two types two types mu'rabin wa mabnin so he'll start speaking about what is mu'rab and what is mabni wa nadhkuru ahkamahu fi babin the declinable and the indeclinable mu'rab is the declinable and the indeclinable is called mabni and we will mention them in two chapters so he said that he will discuss these two in two chapters uh, two chapters in babin wa nadhkuru ahkamahu fi babin al bab al awwal the first bab the first chapter al ism al mu'rab wa fihi muqaddimatun wa thalathatu maqasid wa khatima al muqaddimatu wa fiha thalathatu fusul so he says now in ism al mu'rab so i want to define what is mu'rab wa fihi muqaddima so now he has an intro for mu'rab and then three maqasid three sections or objectives yeah maqasid three objectives that is three sections and then wa khatima and a outro or body say conclusion or a conclusion all right so we'll have an intro three sub chapters objectives in it wa khatima and now the intro he'll have three fusul three chapters in the intro so now we are in the intro al muqaddima for mu'rab you understand for mu'rab we have the muqaddima in this there are three chapters Hmm. So he said, "What intro, 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 and then three maqasid, and then a conclusion. In intro, there are three chapters again. Of he has salatah to fusul. There are three fusul fusul chapters in it, babs in it. The first chapter. <clears throat> so where where are we? We are in the intro. So intro, the first chapter. This is the first first chapter. First chapter. Correct intro, and this is the first chapter." Okay, the declinable noun al ismul mu'arab. In the first chapter is an introduction, three objectives and conclusion. In the introduction, there are three sections. In the three sections, so what he did was, we have the dars, dars of Arabia. In this, the bab awal dars. Below that, we have the bab, and below that, we have, uh, in the in two babs, he said, in in one bab, we'll have the intro. And all that hmm? intro and all that, and intro will have three fusul again. Hmm? So bab is like big section. In bab, one bab is for mu'arab and one bab is for mabni. Hmm? This is mabni section. Mu'arab section will have intro and three three maqasid and khatima. In intro, will have three chapters. Okay, so let's go to the fusul al fasulul awal al ismul mu'arab. So we'll start defining what is a mu'arab noun, declinable noun. Al ismul mu'arab huwa kullu ismin rukiba ma'a ghayrihi wa la yushbihu mabni al asl. So it says what the declinable noun, the mu'arab noun, huwa kullu ismin, every kullu ismin, every noun constructed, rukiba ma'a ghayrihi, constructed with other than itself. So we need two words, you know, it is constructed with two words. ولا يشبه مبني الأصلي and it does not يشبه resemble original indeclinable noun so there's something called مبني الأصل he'll he'll explain مبني الأصل it's originally مبني right there was no reason it was not like previously it was مغرب and then it became مبني it was مبني الأصل so it does not resemble مبني الأصل so what does he mean by that? So he continues. What is mabni ul asl? Ani al harf. So all the harufs are mabni ul asl. Al harf. They do not resemble 
مبنی الاصل سو دے کین بی سم ناؤنس وچ ریزمبل دا حرف رائٹ وی لرنڈ ہارف رائٹ ہارف آ پارٹیکلس ول فعل الماضی دیز آر آلسو مبنی الاصل دے آر اوریجنلی مبنی فکسڈ 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 دے آر فکسڈ اینڈنگس آر فکسڈ ول امر الحاضر امر از آلسو مبنی الاصل امر الحاضر اذهب اذهبا اذهبو آل دیز آر مبنی فکسڈ اینڈنگس آر فکسڈ ات ڈزنٹ چینج ود دیز تھنگس نحو فار ایگزامپل سو ہی گیوز ایگزامپلس آف سعید سو مبنی الاصل originally indeclinable nouns meaning the particle half is mabni ul asl and uh, past tense were fa'il madi and amr and amr these are called mabni ul asl because the asl fil fa'il madi is that it should be mabni right and they are originally mabni fixed ending so dhahaba is always dhahaba who are dhahaba we don't say dhahabun we don't give tanwin and all that no then we have so he gives example nahu سعيد في جاء سعيد so can we say سعيد itself is معرب without any sentence no because سعيد itself is a كلمة and we don't we won't know that it is معرب or not unless we ركب مع غيره that's why he said ركب مع that's why he said سعيد is معرب in the sentence في جاء سعيد لا سعيد وحده he, he clarifies later on also he says not سعيد alone لی عدم ترکیب سو اینی تھنگ از معرب اونلی ان ترکیب وین یو پٹ اٹ ان اے سینٹنس رائٹ دین اونلی سچ ایز سعید ان جا سعید سو ان دیز اے سینٹنس ان جا سعید ان اینڈ سعید ان از فائل مرفو و علامت رفی دمت ظاہرہ یو کین سی دس دما رائٹ سو جا سعید ان دس از معرب ناٹ دا ورڈ سعید الون ڈیو ٹو لیک آف گرامیٹیکل کنسٹرکشن ترکیب دے شوڈ بی ترکیب ولا هذا في قام هذا and not هذا in قام هذا this one stood this person stood why why not هذا can we say هذا is معرب no we cannot say هذا is معرب why لشبهي because it's resemblance to a particle هذا is always هذا right it is similar to هذا so we say هذا is مبني fixed because we don't give tanwin right hadun hadan hadun we don't do anything like muhammadun saeedun wala hadha not hadha so he say he gives one example for mabni uh, for muarab and another example for mabni in saying this is not muarab wala hadha fi qama hadha li wujud ash-shabah bil harf wa yusamma mutamakkinan li qubulihi at-tanwin and another name for this is mutamakkin its name is what mutamakkin So Mu'arab is also called Mutamakkin. Why? Because لِقُبُولِهِ قَبُولِهِ لِلْتَنْوِينَ Because it accepts Tanween. وَحُكْمُهُ أَنْ يَخْتَلِفَ آخِذُ بِاخْتِلَافِ الْعَوَامِلِ لَوْضًا It is also called Mutamakkin. The declinable noun is also referred to as Mutamakkin due to its acceptance of Tanween. So there is acceptance of tanwin it is called mutamakkin or noon nation the you know, saeedun so it is mutamakkin there's also ghair mutamakkin that is ghair munsarif uh, the rule of the decline so now he comes to the rule like so what is the point of learning it what is the rule of it wa hukmuhu an yakhtalifa akhiruhu bi ikhtilaf al awabil lafzan and its ruling is yakhtalifu akhiruhu ruling of the declinable now is that its ending changes with the change of word government word government means the uh, agent amil awamil right so because of the previous word this guy changes like jaa saeedun raaitu saeedan marartu bi saeedin so dun dan din all these are changing he gives example jaani zaidun zaidun is fa'il so damma raaitu zaidan maful'un bihi fatha marartu bi zaidin kasra aw taqdeer no it could be assumed assume jaani fatan So it should be Dhamma Muqaddara, I assume. All this, if you've done Madina books, it comes in lesson one of Madina book three. وَرَأَيْتُ فَتَن فَتَا again, مَرَرْتُ بِفَتَن So Muqaddara, this is estimated. <clears throat> Because it was فَتَيَن بِفَتَيِن We don't say all that, so it says Muqaddara. So you can see لَوْضًا You can see it, you know, you can see the Dhamma فَتَا كَسْرَ لَوْضًا For example, جَاءَنِي This chain may be literal, literal لَوْضًا Uh, Ja'ani Zaydun, Zayd came to me, Ra'itu Zaydan, I saw Zayd, 
مررت بي زيد ان اي باست باي زيد اور بي استيميتد تقديرا اس استيميتد اسيومد جاءني فتى سو دما از استيميتد هير بيكوز فايل a young man came to me a youth came to me where is the dhamma you say it is estimated raitu fatan i saw a youth marartu bi fatan i passed by a youth hmm? so he gives an exclamation uh, uh, definition of muarab explanation of muarab that it is something which changes due to amil if any amil is there it changes and uh, <clears throat> uh, awamil Uh, those agents, or he says, word government, but agents here. Yeah. Uh, Amil, there's a book also called Mia to Amil. Someday we might do that book also. It's used in India, Pakistan. <clears throat> Mia to Amil. وَالْعِرَابُ مَا بِهِ يَخْتَلِفُ آخِذُ الْمُعْرَبُ And he explains what is Arab now. You said Mu'rab, right? The ending should change. So what is Arab? Arab مَا بِهِ يَخْتَلِفُ آخِذُ الْمُعْرَبُ كَالْدَمَّةِ والفتحتي والكسرتي والواوي والياء والالف so declension in english it's called declension i'rab is that by which the ending of declinable nouns are changed so what is saying endings are changed like the signs of declension are and kadamma like dhamma you see saidun dhamma wal kasrati and kasra wa fatha And kasra, wow, wow also is a Arab, right? Like muslimuna, it changes into ya muslimina, inna al-muslimina. Why did muslimuna become? Because of inna. Well, alif and alif is in duals. Ani, aini, kitabani, kitabaini. Declension of the noun is of three types. So what are the three types? Wa'irabu l-ismi thalathatu anwa'in rafa. It should be either in rafa state, nasb state, or jar. Nominative, accusative, or genitive case. In English, they're called nominative. Rafa, nasb, and jar. So this is nominative, rafa, and accusative is nasb, and genitive is jarun. Correct? And this is basic stuff, right? So he's giving definitions. This is Arab. So he started with what? Ismul Mu'arab. And we talked about all this. So Arab, what are the signs of Arab? He gave the Mufat, Qasa, Wawa, Lif, and Ya. All these are uh, signs. Uh, and then amil what is an amil ma yahsulu bihi ar-raf'u wan-nasb wal-jar and word government that is the agent is that by which the nominative accusative and genitive states are achieved right a amil is what like for example ja'a zaidun if you write ja'a ja'a zaidun so what is the amil influencer which influences others because of this ja'a fi'il zaidun got a dhamma Zaidun. So this is called Amil. What government he says, that is the agent. Fail. Or whatever, like half Pujar is Amil and so on, which influence others. So he says, because of those words, we get Arafa, Nasab, and Jar states. Because because of Jar, we got the Arafa, right? File, Marfu. Then he says, what is Mahal? Uh, Al Amil. Wa Mahalu Lirabi min al Ismi Huwal Harful Akhir. And the place of Arab. In the noun is the last letter. So we are not worried about the first letter, second letter and all that. It is the last letter. The place of declension of the noun is its last letter. So we are always concerned about the last letter of a verb. So as in, Khara'a Khalidun, Khalid, red. So we're concerned about this dun. Why did this dun come? Because of fail, fail. Nahu Khara'a Khalidun. فَإِنَّ قَرَأَ أَعْمِلٌ So in قَرَأَ خَالٍ This قَرَأَ is عَمِلٌ وَخَالِدٌ مَعْمُولٌ مُعْرَبٌ And خَالِدٌ is the مَعْمُول Correct? Because this is the agent, right? Which is, this is influencing this guy. خَالِد So خَالِد is called مَعْمُول عَمِل مَعْمُول وَالدَّمَّةُ عِرَابٌ And the دَمَّة is the عِرَاب The sign. So how do you know it's رفع in the state of رفع or مَعْفُو دَمَّة وَحَرْفُ الدَّالِ مِن خَالِد محل العرب and the place of العرب is what the letter دال yeah that's where you put the محل العرب okay so he says yeah the word قرا is the governing word العامل is the word خالد is a declinable governed noun the المعمول المعرب declinable this is معرب and governed noun is معمول ضمّة is a sign of declension ضمّة you can see the ضمّة right 
and the dal is the place of declension. All this is simple, right? Inshallah, if you can understand, right? What is amil and ma'amul? And Khalidun, you can see the dhamma. And then he says, وَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا مُعْرَبَ فِي كَلَامِ الْعَرَبِ إِلَّا الْإِسْمُ الْمُتَمَكِّنُ وَالْفِعْلُ الْمُدَارِعِ وَسَيَجِيءُ حُكْمُهُ فِي الْقِسْمِ الثَّانِي إِنشَاءَ ta'ala. So know that in the speech of the Arabs, there are no declining words other than mutamakkin noun. So it could be, it's only, Mu'arab is only mutamakkin. And that is, Mu'arab is also called mutamakkin, right? And fail mudar. These two are the only whose cases change. These two are all the, only those whose cases change. Ismul mutamakkin and fa'lul mudara. Correct? Apart from this, everything is fixed. Hmm? Like the half are fixed, fail madi is fixed, fail amr is fixed. The endings are fixed. And those we don't have any problem. These are the guys which have problems because their endings keep changing, right? You have to look at the what does it mean and so on. The verbs ruling will come in the second section, insha'Allah ta'ala. Will come in the second section, insha'Allah ta'ala. So in this first section, so we'll come back to it. This is Faslul Awal, right? Faslul Awal. Faslul mm -hmm. Awal, because he said the intro has three fusul, three sections. So we did just one, this one. So he gave the definition here, right? He gave the definition here. Definition of I'rab, uh, Mu'rab, Amil, Ma'amul. All these definitions give. Then Fatha uh, Damakasa, three types of I'rab, Rafa's, right? And the signs of I'rab, and all that. Now the the second, asnafu i'rab al islam ismi, types of declension of the nouns, types, types of declension, asnaf sinfu, asnaf nawa, nawa, anwa, same thing, yeah? sinf, anwa, nawa, i'rab al ismi tisatu asnaf. What? He says the i'rab of a noun is nine types, nine types, nine kinds. Nine kinds of this thing. That means it's not just okay, Dhamma, Saidun, Saidan, Saidin. No, there's six nine combinations like this. Nine combinations. What are those combinations? We'll look into this now. Al Awalu. Nine combinations. So you should note this down so that it'll help you. Inshallah. Al Awal an Yakuna Rafa'u bid Dhamma. The Rafa'a is with Dhamma. Correct? When nasbu will fatha and the nasb is with fatha, wal jarru bil kasa. This is the normal, right? This is normal and uh, which happens. Dhamma in rafa, nasb is fatha and jar is in kasra. Correct? Normal. And wa yakhtasu. And which words come in these? Wa yakhtasu bimayali. And it's specific to what follows. So it says al awwalu. The first that is nominative with Dhamma, accusative with Nasb, that is Nasb with Fatha and Jar with Kasra. Muhammadun Dandin. It is exclusive to the following. First one. So anytime you see these exclusive ones, it will be, you know, Fatha Dhamma Kasra. Normal ones. Bil ismil mufradil munsarifis sahih. Wa huwa inda nuhati ma la yakunu akhidu harfa'illatin nahu asadun. So he said what? It should be an ism. First condition is it is <clears throat> fully declinable singular sound noun. So he says well, so many conditions. First it should be a noun of course. It should be singular mufrad. It should be munsar if not gayal munsar, if not a diptote. It will come later on. Ibrahimu, Ibrahima, Ibrahim. No, singular. as sahih And it should be sahih. And what is sahih? There should not be a weak letter at the end. For example, Asad. So you have to look for these three things. One, it should be a noun. It should be fully declinable in English. Right? Mu'arab. I mean, Munsarif, not Mu'arab also. Fully declinable, not partially declinable. Munsarif. It should be singular word. It should be sound noun, Sahih noun. Three things you have to see. Al-Mufrad al sahih According to the scholar of noun, scholars of Nahu, it is a noun. What is Sahih noun? Which does not have a weak letter at its ending. As in Zaydun or Asadun, whatever. In English, they did Zayd. So the first one is 
just remember a singular noun. It should not have any wow or yeah at the end. So those things like Zaidun, Zaidan, Zaidin, Dhamma, Fata, Kasra. The second one, Biljadi, Majra, Sahi. Wahua ma yakunu akhidu wawan o yaan ma kablaha sakinun nahu dalwun rabyun. Now, there's another word, type of word called Aljari Majra Sahi. Now, these guys said, okay, we have a wow, a wow or ya at the end. The first condition, there should be no wow or ya, right? That's now we learned. There should be no wow or ya. But Aljari Majra Sahi is which runs like in the in the path of Sahih. Like it has a wow or ya at the end, but it is similar to Sahih. It is not a weak weak word or weak letter is not there at the end. Why? It is a noun whose last letter is wow or ya, but with a sukun before it, a sakin before it. For example, dalvun. Now, if you see the word dalvun, dalvun, it, does it form in the first one? No, it doesn't come. Why? Because there's a wow at the end. A bucket. Dalvun is a bucket. So the use of it comes, he puts a bucket in the well. So Dalwun. So these guys have wow. Okay. So is it a weak word? Like you, you uh, uh, does it get uh, other types of Arab? No. They say this is called Jari Major Sahi. Why? Because Arabs, they were, it was easy for them to pronounce this. So they said Dalwun, Dalvan, Dalvin. Like a normal word. So that is why even though a wow or ya is coming at the end, still it is called Jari Majra Sahih. That means it's similar to Sahih. So don't get confused by this wow. Ignore the wow. I mean, it doesn't matter. Why? Because before the wow, there's a Sukun. So it was easy for them to pronounce. So Dalwun, Dalwan, Dalbin. Normal, normal. Right? So a Rabyun, a deer, a gazelle. So Rabyun, Rabyan, Rabyun. In these Jari Majra Sahih also, you see a Dhamma, a Fatha, a Kasra. Or two Dhammas or two Fathas or two Kasra. This is called Jari Majra. That is similar to the Sahih. Jari Majra Sahih is, which is similar. Even though it has a Vav or Ya, the previous letter, because it has a Sukun, it will be treated like a Sahih. Okay? You will, you will also get Dhamma, Fatha, Kasra. So Dalwun, Dalwan, Dalwin. This is called Jari Majra Sahih. Third is, Bil Jam'il Mukassaril Munsarif. نحو رجال تقول هاجمني أسد وجر وضب ورجال ورأيت أسد وجر وضب ورجال ومررت بأسد وجر وضب ورجال and the third type of word which takes a fatada makasra that is a normal word it is الجمع مكسر المنصرف fully declinable broken plural Broken plural. Munsarif. It should not be Gail Munsarif. Not a diptote. It should be triptotes. For example, Rijalun. Rijalun. So he gives an example combining all of them. Rijalun is a broken plural. So you can remember three words will take Fatha Dhamma Kasra. One, singular noun. Two, broken plurals. And three, this is rare anyways. Jari Majas Sahih. That means something which is like the singular noun. Like the Sahih now. Sahih means what? No vowel ya. At the end, and uh, these guys have wow or yeah at the end, but has a sukun, so it will be treated as normally. Hmm? So it gives an example: hajamani asadun. So hajama is to attack, right? Form three hajama. Uh, asadun is the fire, right? So we see a dhamma: hajamani asadun, hajamani jarun. A cub attacked me. Jarun is a cub, lions, cub, or whatever. Jarun. Hajamani rabyun, a deer, a gazelle attacked me. Hajamani Rijalun. So all of them, you can see Dhamma, Dhamma, Dhamma. Or you can say Ra'itu Asadan. So Fatha, right? Fatha then. I saw two, I saw a lion. Ra'itu Jarwan. I saw a cub. Ra'itu Rabbian. I saw a gazelle. Gazelle. Ra'itu Rijalan. I saw a man, some man. Or you can say Marartu Bi Asadin. I passed by a lion. Marartu Bi Jarwin. I passed by a cub. Marartu Bi Rabbian. I passed by a gazelle. So all of these, you can see the Dhamma, two Dhammas, two Fathas and two Kasras. Right? Only in these three words, you can see clearly the Dhamma, Fatha, Kasra. Singular word, low broken plurals, all Munsarifa, and then Jari, Majra, Sahih. Like Jarwan, Rabyun and all that. 
الثاني هذا second one let me just see how much more is there is it a big one no he divides into two chapters yeah okay 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 الرابع يا 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 اوكي يا دين ثاني ثالث ان رابع let's finish this ان يكون الرفع so he divides into nine types right so he says there's an intro and his what are we talking about again you're talking about معرب nouns معرب nouns and معرب nouns this is the first باب in معرب nouns he says there's an intro and in this intro we, we talked about definition in the first one And this second is types of Arab. All types of definitions we learned, right? And this is types of Arab. Because if you see the roadmap, this is how it is. And types of Arab, he says there are nine types. So we'll explain here. Nine types. In the second verb. Nine types. And then we have this. Then there are three objectives. We will go down later on. After the nine types, there's another uh, fossil. And then we have three objectives. Again, he might divide these three also. Then we have a conclusion. So this is a long story, right? All this of all about Mu'arab nouns. All about Mu'arab declinable nouns. Athani, an yakuna raf'u biddamma. Now, second one is raf'u biddamma. Wa nasbu wal jarru bil kasra. Nasb and jar. So these guys will not take fatha. They hate fathas. Who are these types? Wa yakhtasu bil jam'i al muannathi thalim. It is sound feminine plural. نحو مسلمات for example مسلمات تقول جاءتني مسلمات ورأيت مسلمات ومررت بمسلمات now these guys that which is nominative with dhamma okay fine rafa is dhamma but accusative nasb and genitive that is jar with kasra so these females you know plural will not take it is exclusive so only in one type will come there we had three types right sound singular noun and all those Three types, but here only one type is excluded to feminine sound plural. Al Jamul Muannathu Salim, as in Muslimatun. Okay, you can see the dhamma. Jaatsi uh, Muslimatun. Some Muslim women came to me. Raitu Muslimatin. Actually, there should be fatha, right? But these people, these feminine plurals, will not take fathas at all. Never. Raitu Muslimatin. Uh, and I saw some Muslim women marar to be Muslima thin again. Right? Again, so Kasra, uh, Nasb and Jar is the same. I passed by some Muslim women marar to be Muslima thin. Athalithu an yakuna raf'u bi dhammati. So the second type was what? No fathas. So Dhamma, Kasra, Kasra. Now the Thalithu an yakuna raf'u bi dhammati. Okay, fine. Raf is with Dhamma. These guys will not take kasras. So this is no fatha guy, no fatha group. And this is no kasras. Opposite of the, they don't like kasras. And which is type it is? It is only with diptotes. It is only specific to diptotes. Diptotes, no kasras. Nahu ahmadu. تقول جاءني أحمد ورأيت أحمد ومررت بأحمد. so مررت ب should be actually be in a kasra but these guys won't take a kasra so it'll be أحمد. غير منصرف right that which is nominative with دم and accusative and uh, genitive نص من جار with فتح no kasras it is exclusive to partially declinable noun that is diptotes غير منصرف as in أحمد you could say جاءني أحمد أحمد came to me رأيت أحمد I saw Ahmad marar to be Ahmad. I passed by Ahmad. All right. And the fourth type is an yakuna raf'u bil wawi. Now, instead of halakas now, we are done. So we in halakas, we saw three types. Mm -hmm. Three types. Correct? In halaka. Halaka means fatha dhamma kasra, no? So we saw rafa with dhamma, nasab with fatha and jar. This is normal. Then we saw rafa with dhamma, but Nasab and Jar with Kasra. Correct? That was Muslimatun, Muslimatin, Muslimatin. Hmm? And then we saw Rafa with Dhamma, Ibrahimu, Fatha, Fatha, Ibrahima, Ibrahima, Ahmadu, Ahmada, Ahmada. So these are the three combinations of halakas you can see of the signs. Hmm? One, Dhamma, Fatha, Kasra. This is a normal one. Dhamma, Kasra, Kasra. This is uh, sound feminine, plural. 
and this is in diptotes that is ghayr munsarid dhamma fatha fatha this is a fatha fatha then we have now huruf now no no we don't look at dhamma fatha kasra at all we look at the letters themselves like waw changing into a ya and so on and yakuna raf'u bil waw now no dhamma no, we are not concerned about fatha dhamma kasra but rafa with waw wan nasbu bil alif the nasb is with alif wal jarru bil ya so what rafa is with waw nasab is with alif and jar with wa ya where does this happen like everything is different no waw alif and ya where does this happen wa yakhtassu bil asma'i sittati all asma'i al khamsa they are called five nouns or six nouns he says mukabbaratan the condition is it should be mukabbara that is not diminutive ghayra musaghara it should not be diminutive diminutive in the sense like hasan husain hmm? Uh, so mufradatan and it should be singular there are so many conditions with these guys ghayra uh, muthannatin wala jama'in not dual and not plural so he says the that which is nominative ar raf'u bil waw nasb with alif and jar with ya it is exclusive to the six nouns or the five nouns as it is famous with the condition that they are non diminutive so the first condition is it should be non diminutive this is condition number 1 second singular you cannot use plurals and all that not dual or not plural and annex to it should be mudafatan ila ghayri ya al mutakallim it should be mudaf mind mudaf mudafale other than ya al mutakallim so this should not happen ya al mutakallim should not it should not be like abi and all that is not allowed ya mutakallim is first person my father my brother and what are those six words the six nouns are akhuka your brother right your brother akhuka so it should be mudaf you cannot if you use without mudaf it will be normal akhun akhan akhin dhamma fatakasra but here wow akhuka wa abuka ya fada hamuka ya father in law hamu in laws hamuka fuka ya mouth hanuka your thing hanuka is actually a bad word something dhu uh, malin and wealthy having money so he gives example jaani uh, akhuka your brother came to me so how do you know it's file with this wow wa raitu akhaka so akhuka change into akhaka with the alif i saw your brother your brother marartu bi akhika with the ya correct i passed by your brother wa kadal bawaqi and likewise it is same thing for others for the remaining words jaani abuka raitu abaka marartu bi abika So these are the four types. There are five more which we'll bring in the next lesson, inshallah. Ta'ala. What are the questions? Arif al ism al mu'arab wa mathil lahu. What is ism al mu'arab? Define and give an example. So he gave a definition of mu'arab, right? Al ism al mu'arab huwa kullu ism in rukiba ma ghayrihi wa la yushbihu mabni al asli. He said every noun which is which is made made into a sentence and it does not represent. Mabdun las and mathil lahu give an example azaidun asadun and all that. Ma huwa ismu al mutamakin idrim mithalan lahu. What is ismu al mutamakin? It is the same as mu'arab. Mutamakin is the same as mu'arab. Idrim mithalan. Give examples to it. Azaidun asadun. Uskud ma'ana li arab. mention the meaning of arab arab is the harakat of akhir so he gave the definition of arab no al arab ma bihi yakhtalifu akhir al mu'arab what changes at the end of the mu'arab qad dammati wal fathati wal kasrati wal wawi wal yai wal alif this is called arab that is zaidun zaidan it's called arab uskud anwa' arabi al ismi mention the types of arab of the nouns so what are the types of arab of the nouns nine types no Arab al ism is tisatu asnaf, or maybe he means this. Rafa nafs jab, right? Arab al ism is salatha tu anwa. What Arab types of Arab is salatha tu anwa? Dhamma fatha kasra. Arif al amil wa bayin mahalli al Arab. What is amil? Amil and the place of Arab. Mahalli al Arab. So he gave an explanation. No amil. Where is amil? Amil. Ma yahsulu bihi al rafu wa nasb wa al jab. What? Rafa nasab and jar is gained with it. It's called amil. He says, and mahalu al-Arabi min al-ismi huwa al-arful akhir. And the place of mahalu al-Arab is the last letter. 
كم هي أصناف إعراب الاسم؟ What are the different types? تسعة. ده تسعة. إشاعة أربعة منها مع ذكر مثل مثال لكل صنف منها. Mention four of them because we learned four of them, right? <clears throat> so what are the four of them? One was normal, right? Normal, and there were three types in it: uh, singular words, jari majus sahi, jari majus sahi, you can say, and the third one was what broken plural. And in these three. What we'll see, we'll see fatha, dhamma, and kasra. Then we learn sound masculine, uh, sound uh, feminine plural. And in this, you see dhamma, kasra, muslimatun, muslimatun, muslimatun. And then diptotes, <clears throat> uh, dhamma, fatha, fatha, and then five nouns or six nouns. These are the four types we saw till now. No, in six nouns, you'll see a wow as rafa, nasab, and uh, alif as nasab, and ya as jar. Abuka, abaka, abika. ما هو الاسم الجاري مجسحي؟ What is اسم اسم الجاري مجسحي؟ جاري مجسحي are those nouns which have a wow at the ya wow or ya at the end, but the previous letter has a sukun, has a sukun. مثل له دلون ذبيون so it's called جاري مجسحي. كيف يعرب كل من الاسم المفرد الصحي؟ How it is done? والجاري مجسحي. How is Arab? Dhamma, 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 fatha, kasra. No, well, jamil, mukassar, munsarif, fatha, dhamma, kasra. Normal. These are normal, so normal. Udkur kafiya tal Arab jamil muannath thalim. How is the Arab? Dhamma, kasra, kasra. Wa mathil li dalik muslimatun, muslimatin, muslimatin. Bima yurab al ismu ghair al munsarif. Dhamma, fatha, fatha. These guys hate kasra. Hati mithalan yuwadhu dalik. Give an example. Ibrahim, Ibrahim, Ibrahim. اذكر اسماء الستة وبين علامات عربية ما ذكر مثلة mention the six nouns and علامات is what wow alif and ya you can see example is ابو كا ابي كا ابي mother to be ابي كا and all that تمارين he gives an example exercise استخرج الاسماء المعربة من الجمل التالية extract the معرب nouns from the following Sentences وبين علامات إعرابها and explain the sign of إعراب. Okay, let's see. الحمد لله فاطر السماوات والأرض. So الحمد is this معرب? Yes. Praise be to Allah, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. Originator maybe فاطر. الحمد. Okay, fine. What is the sign of this? We can see the دمّة. لله. Yes, of course. Allah is Allah Dhul Jalala. We can see the Kasra. Lillahi. Mu'arab, right? And Fatiri is also Mu'arab. Mu'daf. Samawati, Mu'arab. We can see the Fatah Dhamma Kasra. It's not fixed. Samawati is Fatah is Samawati Kasra. It's Jamma Mu'anna Thalim. Al-insanu harisun ala ma muni'amin. The human is eager or greedy or eager to to do what is prohibited from him. Like, like if someone stops, asks you to stop doing something, you're more eager to do it. Al-insanu, you can see, hirs, harisun, is more eager. Ala is mabni. Ma is also mabni. Muni'a is mabni because this is madi, majhul. Minhu is also mabni, mabni. You cannot see. Minhu is, you cannot see. Dhamma fatah kasram. This is mabni, this is mabni. So what is mu'arab here? Al-insanu and harisun. That's it. Everything else is mabni. إن الصلاة تنها عن الفحشاء والمنكر. Indeed, prayer prohibits from فحشاء evil things and منكر evil things, bad things. فحشاء obscene things. So إن is half, so مبني صلاة يا مغرب تنها. This is also مغرب, but we cannot see because this is مدار. We say مقدرة. We learn later on مغرب. عن is مبني عن الفحشاء. We can see the كسرة, so مغرب. Wow is مبني. Because a half no one kari muarab. Jaa Abu Hassan in min Dimashq. The father of Hassan came from Damascus. Jaa is mabni because this fell madi. Abu is muarab. And how do you know? You can see the wow. Just now we learned right. This is from the asmaus khamsa or the sitta. Hassan in Hassan is muarab because we can see the kasra min is mabni. Dimashq is muarab. Actually, min you should get a kasa, but this is ghair munsarif, no? A diptot. So it will not take kasras. They hate kasras. So they'll take fatha. They'll take dhamma fatha fatha. Ibrahimu, Ibrahima, Ibrahima. Ahmadu, Ahmada, Ahmada. 
من هذا الأستاذ ذو علم بالموضوع and this أستاذ has knowledge of علم موضوع place knowledge I don't know what علم موضوع means let me check موضوع means science subject huh? موضوع is science maybe uh, so هذا is مبني no we can هذا is always fixed أستاذو yes ذو yeah we can see the wow right this is from the أسماء الخمسة يعني من كسرة با is fixed مبني موضوع yes كسرة we can see the كسرة الممرضات يسهرن على سلامة المريض. The nurses are staying awake. سهرة يسهرو is to stay awake, stay up for the سلامة المريض for the safety or yeah of the patient for the patient safety. So ممرضات we can see the كسرة يسهرن this is mabni because this is mudare, but this is joined with a noon, right? So we say this is mabni because in mudare, ya falna ta falna al mabni. So this is mawara, mabni. Ala is mabni. Salamati is mawara. We can see the kasra. Al maridi, we can see the kasra mawara. Salam to ala ahmada fil madrasa. I said salam on ahmad in the school. So salam to fail madi. No, no, harf. Ahmada mawara, yes. Fi mabni. Madrasati, yes. Mawara. You can see the kasra. So you should try to practice this. Mu'arab bin Mu'arab. Da'is, da'is man munasiban min al-asma'i sittati fil makan al-khali fil jumal al-atiyah. Min al-jumal al-atiyah. So put in from the six nouns. So abu nakhun and all that. Put an appropriate noun in the following sentences. Ihtarim abaka. Respect your father. وَعَطِفْ عَلَىٰ أَخِيكَ And be kind to your brother. عَطِفْ is to have show emotion or kind. Sympathy. Be kind. رَأَيْتُ فِي السَّلَاةِ الْجُمَّةِ رَأَيْتُ أَبَاكَ You can write anything, yeah? رَأَيْتُ أَبَاكَ اِحْتَرِمْ Because this is مَفُولٌ بِهِ We say أَبَاكَ So, why not Abuka? Because Alif, right? Mansub, Fatha, Eatif ala Akhika. And here, Akhuka will become with a Ya. Ya, Akhika. Ra'aytu Abaka, Ra'akhaka, whatever. Ra'aytu Abaka. I saw your father. Fi Salat al-Jum'ah. In the Salat al-Jum'ah. Unthur ila Akhika. Look at your brother. Or ila fika in your mouth or whatever. Talibun dakiyun. Dhu what? Abuka. No, akhuka talibun dakiyun. Your brother is a akhuka. Why wow? Because this is nothing to change it, no? Akhuka talibun dakiyun. Jalis kulla dhi ilmin. Sit with every knowledgeable person. So dhi. Dhu will become dhi because this is mudaf mudaf ilayya. Dhi ilmin. Salam tu ala abika. I said salam on your father. أبيك وفق الله أخاك لعمل الخير. Whatever. May Allah grant success or give توفيق, give the ability for good works. عمل الخير أخاك وفقك الله. May Allah grant you success or may Allah grant you توفيق. That means the ability. على خير. So you can try this out, إن شاء الله تعالى. So with this we are done with the fourth lesson. So we learnt about معرب. Mu'arab uh, and its four types. Mu'arab definition. We learned what is definition of Mu'arab, I'arab, Amil, Mahalu, I'arab, and then the four types of declensions. Hmm. Four types of declension. Right? Four types of declension. Like the first type is Dhamma Fatha Kasra. It happens in three places. That is uh, singular nouns, broken plurals, and jari majras sahih. And then sound feminine plural, we learnt uh, fatha kasra kasra. And then diptotes, fatha damma damma. I mean, damma fatha fatha. 
and the fourth one was asmaul sitta or asmaul khamsa as we call it we don't say hanun uh, asmaul khamsa those are the uh, wow alif and ya right so you should do a lot of practice if you don't understand all this go back to madina books yeah? so this book should be done after madina books because this will just give you you know just give you theory 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 if you want to get more practice and get used to it you should go and do madina book 3 lesson 1 we learned all these things over there barakallahu feekum jazakallahu khairan subhanakallahu wa bihamdika asyhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh